On the surface, Sean Sweet Johnson may seem like a decent, well-respected, and actually likable character from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. After all, he is CJ's brother, the leader of Grove Street, and a person you are always trying to please during the game. But if you dig a little deeper, you will realize that he's actually just a piece of shit. Nigga, what the fuck is this bullshit? So early in the game, Sweet wastes no time and starts bitching CJ out right in the middle of a cemetery. That's another funeral you ran away from, fool. Just like Brian's. Sweet and CJ just lost their mother and people grieve in different ways so this can be understood. He even goes on to apologize for his dickish behavior a little later in the game. Good to hang with your brother. I'm sorry I can get a little tip. As time goes on, CJ works hard to prove to his big brother that he is worthy of his love by doing lots of gang-related crime while Sweet mostly sits at home doing nothing. Eventually, Sweet is forced to acknowledge that CJ is the reason Grove Street is successful again. Why to give CJ a break, man? He's practically turned the Grove around by himself. But why was Grove Street struggling to begin with? Far from smoke, sweet, and you know yours truly. Grove Street don't bang no more. So apparently, while CJ is spending five years on the East Coast, well, my brother used to make my life miserable. Grove Street families is falling apart without him. Most of the members don't do anything because they are high on drugs. This leaves Sweet, Big Smoke, and Ryder to do all the work. So what work do they actually do? Well, we find out that Big Smoke has been working with corrupt police officers and rival gang members to become the biggest drug lord in LS. Nigga, what the fuck is this bullshit? And he brings Ryder along with him. Now the way I see it is that we don't have a choice. Ain't nothing to feel bad about. You put a gun to a brother's head, brother's gonna do what he's told. But who could have stopped it? You would expect the leader of a gang to know exactly what his closest friends spend most of their time doing, but not this clown. His friend had time to build the biggest drug operation in the city, while Sweet suspects nothing. So what you saying? You don't respect me? So of course, this shit leadership style leads to the family's gang as a whole to become weaker, and some of the other sets get sick of it. Seville Boulevard families attempt to kill Sweet while he is in their neighborhood. Why was he over there, you ask? Obviously trying to rebuild his gang, right? No. He was there trying to bang some dead behind the eyes voiceless NPC. Ugh. CJ makes the mistake of saving his dumb ass from this assassination attempt. Sweet man, he did absolutely nothing. So eventually Tenpenny and friends miss the good old days of incompetent and oblivious Sweet being the only other high ranking Grove Street member they need to worry about, so they have to deal with the problem of CJ. To do this, they throw Sweet in jail and make CJ work to get him out. You should be glad, Carl. Your moron brother's alive? Sweet has made CJ feel like he is the one responsible for the death of their other brother Brian and being gone when their mother was killed, so he feels the need to help his family and works to get Sweet out of prison. This is the best part of the game for the player because Sweet is locked up for the majority of this time and at this point is no longer around to fuck with CJ at all. So during this time, CJ becomes one of the most talented and successful people on the planet by doing things like owning a garage in San Fierro, becoming a trusted associate of a high-ranking member of the Triad, infiltrating and taking down members of Smoke's vast yay dealing operation, owning a car dealership, flying toy planes, working as a truck driver, a courier, a train conductor, a taxi driver, a pimp, a cop, a firefighter, a paramedic, and more, buying real estate, participating in a demolition derby, working with the government agent to do some of the craziest shit thinkable, becoming a sharpshooter, he earns his pilot's license, sells cars, wins bicycle races, wins street races, wins air races, works at a quarry, becomes the manager for a rapper, learns to fly somehow, becomes part owner of a Las Venturas casino, breaks into the most guarded military base in the state and steals their most protected item, steals alien jizz from a train, collects seashells and other useless bullshit practically plans and executes a major heist of a rival casino all by himself, steals a military jet and uses it to destroy spy boats all without the help of Sweet, and doing a lot of these things in an attempt to free Sweet from prison. And the day finally comes, he's done it, risked his life on many occasions to have his brother released from prison and give them a better life. A life where they won't have to worry about people killing their other family members. A life where nobody has to steal to be able to get their sister's shoes. A comfortable and safe life away from gangbanging. You never did get it, did you, Carl? I need to go check on things in the hood. Man, that's the problem. You always a perpetrator, running from what's real. Hey, man, shit's fucked up there. You don't want to be in the hood. No. 
That's exactly where I want to be. He doesn't even care. Barely a few feet from jail, and he's already unhappy. So what can CJ do now? He only wants to please his brother, so they go back to the grove and prepare to bang again. Sweet's number one goal in life is to be a gangbanger. So he must be good at it, right? Wrong. He barely even makes an attempt to kill anybody. He stands directly in front of CJ, waving his hands in the air as if he's pretending they aren't being shot at by rival gang members. Okay, so maybe he's not good in the battlefield. He is the leader and sets a good example for all of the other gang members by showing them how a true Grove Street homie should act, right? Wrong. He tries to smoke crack almost immediately after CJ got his dumb ass out of prison. Oh, what the hell are you doing? So what exactly is Sweet's problem at this point? He claims to be tired and frustrated that his family fell apart and everything is fucked up. Could it actually be that he's missing his former cellmate? Worst cock, Harry. Oh, that's your brother, okay? Whatever the case may be, he continues to give CJ shit because that's what he does best. I went through a lot of shit for this family since you've been gone, so I know. What? For yourself, not for the family. Don't get shit confused, nigga. CJ risked his life on multiple occasions to get Sweet out of prison. When Kendall needed shoes, I went out and got the money. CJ is the reason Kendall is helping to run both a garage and a casino. When moms need an operation, I rob people for the bread. Sweet had the best chance to save moms, and he didn't. Some would say that Sweet loves the gangbanging life and he should be allowed to live it if he wants, but in reality, he never actually does anything. He only tells everybody else what they should do, especially CJ, then pretends he had something to do with it after the mission is successful. Get it, CJ. Let's bail back to Grove Street. So what can CJ do at this point to please his big brother? Take over rival gang territories and single-handedly take down Big Smoke's entire crack fortress. But of course, Sweet would come along for that, right? Wrong. In an effort to have a better chance at survival by not having to protect Sweet the entire time, CJ tells him he has to do it alone. Of course, Sweet wouldn't allow that and would be right there alongside his brother while they take down their former friend who ruined their gang, helped have their mother killed, and ate up all their food, right? Wrong. He waits in the car! This clown waits in the car outside like he's waiting for CJ to be dismissed from school. And if that wasn't enough, when all of it is said and done, this moron jumps on a moving fire truck driven by Tenpenny just to get stuck hanging there and have CJ save him one last time. So there you have it. Sweet is the cause for all of CJ's problems. He lets moms die. He lets Smoke and Ryder become traitors. He treats CJ like shit. He gets locked up and forces CJ to work to get him out. He doesn't give a shit that he gets him out. He doesn't care that CJ keeps Kendall safe and helps her become successful. He forces CJ back into gangbanging and makes CJ clean up all the messes he made all by himself. Nigga, what the fuck is this bullshit? Sean Sweet Johnson, the biggest busta in San Andreas.